Zellers, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Minnesota, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the office to which you have just been elected to the best of your ability, so help you God? I do. Congratulations, Mr. Speaker. It is my honor, it is my privilege to present you with this gavel. Congratulations, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Secretary of State. Uh, thank you also to the Honorable Abrams, the Honorable Blatz, uh, for, your, for helping us to swear us in today, uh, especially to uh, my mentor and uh, first tax chair uh, in, the, in the House Tax Committee, uh, Judge Abrams. Uh, you're a true friend and a great, uh, not only mentor to us, but a great leader in our state. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you also uh, to my family, um, to my mom and my stepdad, my mom who thinks I can, still thinks I can do no wrong. Don't ask those guys over there, Mom. To my stepdad, Kenny, who uh, taught me more about integrity, hard work, uh, dedication, and uh, good old-fashioned Norwegian stubbornness. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. Uh, to my sister, Jody, my nephew, and my niece, Hannah and Parker, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for putting up with all my uh, abuse, Jody. I appreciate that. Uh, to my mother and father-in-law, Kathy and Chuck Rydell, thank you for uh, making me a part of your family. Uh, only in a family like yours could uh, nine adult, or eight adults, nine grandkids, and two dogs spend a week together at Christmas and still speak to each other. <laughs> uh, most of all, thank you to my, uh, my dear wife, Kim, and to Reagan and Will. Honey, uh, there's nothing in the world that I'd be able to do without you. Uh, going through this, going through what we've been through, uh, our daughter Lauren, uh, all the things that we've been through with Reagan, none of it's possible without you. To my sweet peanut girl, Reagan, thank you for your bright smiles. Thank you for being the miracle to our family that you are. And to my little 10-pounder, Bubba Guy, Will, thank you for all of your enthusiasm and for being my best buddy ever. Thank you all for being here. Uh, to my dad, uh, Kirby, who's not here with us today, like uh, many small business owners uh, here in the great state of Minnesota, he's out working. Uh, he's overseas and can't be here with us today. Uh, but to my dad, thank you for instilling in me and in every fiber that I am uh, that small business, the small business owner here in Minnesota, the women and men who drive our economy, uh, that is our true essence. That is what makes not only Minnesota great, uh, but wakes, makes our nation great. Uh, thank you, Dad, for instilling that in me. To my colleagues here on the House floor, uh, our job now is to govern. Uh, the campaigns are over. It's our time to move forward. Uh, and based on our economy, based on what the voters expect of us, uh, it is incumbent upon us to do just that, to move forward, to get our great state moving again. Uh, we will work together because that's what is expected of us, but that's also what the voters want and what our economy dictates. I look forward to working with many of you. Uh, you are all friends. We've known each other. Uh, the fights that you see in the press, for those of you who are family and friends here, maybe happen out here, but behind us in the retiring room, uh, you'll see what great friends we really are. I look forward to working with you and working in a respectful manner here on the House floor. To the taxpayers of the great state of Minnesota, we will respect and treat every one of your dollars that you send to us with the same common sense and the same frugality that you all spend when you do it around your kitchen table. These are tough economic times. We in government will respect your hard-earned dollars just like you do. We will make them stretch. We will work with them. We will work with the, our colleagues down here to make sure that you are, they are being spent just like you would spend them if you were spending them on your family's budget. 
to the business women and men across the great state of Minnesota and to their employees, thank you. Thank you for all that you do to make this one of the greatest states, not only in the country, but in the world. Your innovation, your hard work, your pride in the work that you do make this a great state, not only to live in, to raise our families in, but also to prosper. We thank you for that. We thank you for the work that you do, for the jobs that you provide. We have one last ask, if we could. We need your help. We need you to come with your ideas. We need you to bring your innovations. Whether you're the VP of operations, whether you're a snowplow driver, whether you're a sandwich artist, or whether you are the top saleswoman that are in the biggest commission in your, in your company, we need your ideas. We need you to work with us. We need you to help us with your solutions, the things that you've had to do in your business, in your company, the suggestions you've offered to your boss, please bring them to us. My faith here today and in our state's return is in you, the business women and men of our great state. You will lead the recovery. We in government know that we work for you, not the other way around. And we need your help to rebuild our economy, to make this great state even greater, and to lead the recovery. We will be that shining North Star again when it comes to rebuilding our state's economy, but also leading the way in innovation, in technology, and making sure that our great state is one not only great again, but is leading the nation. We ask for your help to the teachers here in the great state of Minnesota, including my wife. Uh, we thank you for the work that you do. There is no, no uh, act more uh, frightening yet rewarding to see one of your little kids go off and spend their whole day now with somebody else. Please know that we, ch we cherish each and every one of you, the gifts that you give our children in an education and in inspiration are very, very important to us. We thank you for that. We ask for your solutions as well. Help us to lead the way across not only this great nation, but across the world in our education standards and the way that we're going to teach our kids. The old way of doing things just isn't going to work. We need to use technology. We need to use online learning. We need to make those changes that countries all across this great, great world have made that have changed the way they teach their kids. We need your help, and we thank you for your service. We have a daunting task ahead of us. This is going to be a difficult, difficult economic recovery. Starting slow, and it may slow down a little bit more. But again, my faith lies not only in us here at the Capitol, but the business women and men of this great state to help us lead our way out. I look forward to working with each and every one of you, just as we have in the past, as we will continue to do. We will have our disagreements. We'll probably have a few amendments here on the House floor. But I ask that we start off on the things we agree on, and if we don't get around to the things we disagree on, we'll be a better place for this. Thank you for the service that you are giving to your families. Thank you to the families, not only of our freshmen, uh, but to those incumbents who know what it's like to be down here. Thank you for the giving of your times so that your families can serve down here. Thank you, and let's get Minnesota back to work. So let's get started.